We want to bring attention to an important issue that isn't discussed enough. Suicide is one of the top causes of death in the United States. When it comes to our youth, more than 4,500 lives are lost each year. And according to a nationwide survey, 16% of students say they've seriously considered suicide. Right now, Colorado lawmakers are considering a bill that's aimed at keeping kids alive. It would allow students ages 12 and up to be able to talk to a school therapist without getting permission from a parent. Parent. Mm. Currently, they need to be at least 15. We have a special guest joining us on the panel to talk about this bill that just passed the House. Representative Daphna Michelson Janae, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> thank you for having me. I'm really honored to be with you. We are very honored to hear. Uh, you know, we're parents on this panel, and uh, it's it's something that keeps me up at night. So to know that you are pouring your life's work into advocating for our youth, I'm for, forever grateful. Um, they, this is something that's very personal to you. Can you please share with us how your son and, uh, and what had happened inspired you to get this bill where it is today? Absolutely. Um, as every parent, when the baby comes and they give you that big manual that goes with the baby, you try <laughs> to learn. All oh, wait, they didn't. Yeah, give what? Yeah. I was gonna say there was no manual. <laughs> yes. And um, Aton came out, and the the labor and everything was beautiful and perfect. And I made the mistake of saying, "Oh, this is my easy kid." <laughs> and um, Aton is a wonderful young man, and he started to struggle when he was about six years old. He started communicating uh, in a way that told told us that he wasn't he wasn't doing okay. And we started getting him the help that he needed right away, but we were never able to get him the help that he needed in the time that he needed. And when he was nine years old in the fourth grade in math class, he took an action that led the teachers to believe he had attempted suicide right there in the classroom. And the police were called and an ambulance was called and he was transported to the hospital. And I was in Boulder with my parents and you know, I was, I was maybe 25 minutes away from the school, but it was the longest drive of my my entire life because I didn't know what I would find. And quite frankly, what I found is he was sitting and making jokes with the police officers by the time I got there. They de-escalated him and they de-escalated the situation and he, he came into his own. But it was the most traumatizing thing that really could ever happen in a family. And at the same time, it made us understand the level of help that he really needed, mm -hmm. and we were able to get access to it. But why should it take a suicide attempt to do that? Uh, it shouldn't. Uh, we'll get parent of three here. Uh, what would you say to a parent that, that sees that their child is struggling, but really doesn't know what to do because uh, you know not luckily but you had an incident that kind of kick-started things into action uh, what if you just get the feeling like there's a general malaise like something's something's just not right number one believe your children mm. a lot of times we might say oh you know that's that's normal this is a phase it's just gonna pass uh, listen to your kid and if your kid tells you that something is really really bothering them help them find someone to talk to. And sometimes, yes, that's gonna be you as the parent. But if that problem isn't going away, if that anxiety continues to increase, you wanna make sure that they're getting appropriate help. And that's the basis of this bill, is to make sure that kids can speak to somebody who is a responsible, uh, trained, licensed adult here in Colorado. I love that. Um, the bill has had support from both parties, and we know that suicide can impact anyone. So let's talk about how important it is for Democrats and Republicans to come together on this issue. Amen. Well, it's a very interesting thing that you bring up today, because right now the bill as we speak is being blown up in the Senate. Um, and Republicans have taken, in the Senate, have taken a little bit of a different uh, worldview of the bill than we have in the writing of the bill um, and what they're trying to amend into the bill, the psychologists, the psychiatrists, the pediatricians are all against. Wow. So, you know, it's it's very interesting, this thing of, of, is it a Republican bill? Is it a Democrat bill? Suicide should not have a it's political a, it's ideation. It's a humanity bill. It is a humanity bill. It is a humanity bill, 1,000%. And ultimately, um, I don't, did you watch Mad Men? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I loved Mad Men. And in the first season, the wife goes in for therapy. And what happens at the end of every therapy session? Doctor calls up yes. husband and says, hey, this is what your wife told me in therapy. No confidentiality, and, none. And I remember watching it and gasping. Right. Well, let me give it to you like this. 
If your 12 year old had something they were really, really struggling with, and they wanted confidentiality to be able to feel safe to talk about it, because maybe, maybe you're that problem. Yeah. Right. And you don't realize it and you don't intend it. And nobody is calling parents bad. But when you are raising a middle schooler, every parent is bad. Yeah. Every parent is bad. <laughs> right. Every I taught teacher is bad. For five years, yeah. so That's I know. right. <laughs> yeah. I oh purple heart for you, <laughs> yeah. middle school teacher. But imagine your 12-year-old, their call the therapist calls you after every single session. Well, with my son, he stopped trusting therapists. Right. Why should I tell them anything? They're just mm -hmm. gonna call you up and tell you exactly what I said. So how is he supposed to have what he needs to be able to work out his problems in a safe space? Wow. Uh, Daphna, your bill is going to save lives, and I really hope that um, it gets the support that it deserves. For those of you watching, if you or someone you know is struggling, there are resources available. Those numbers are up on your screen right now. Please do not hesitate to get help. Representative Daphna Michelson Janae, thank you so much for being here today to shed thank more you. light on this issue. We will be right back. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you.